Hello, NART family. It's Juan Martinez, 2013 NART National President. Today, in Esta Semana NARAP, we're going to replay a great episode. I know you're going to like it just as much as I did. Welcome to Hablando Business, and today I'm excited to have JJ Lopez, Century 21 Realty Masters, a national board member, a top producer in his own right, made the top 250 Latino Hispanic list in the nation, and he's a broker owner out of Montebello. And we want to welcome, welcome to the show. Gracias, Jerry. It's un honor. Thank you. Well, JJ, give us the three top tips, little tidbits that you would be able to feed to our Norit family across the nation to help them advance their business, take it to the next level. Well, you know, Jerry, the, the, the three tidbits that I would strongly recommend are what I call the LME of, of life. What I mean by LME is you got to love what you do. You got to master what, what your trade. And at the end of the day, you got to execute. So take me, take me back to love. Let me expand on that a little bit. How does that relate to real estate? Well, it, for me, it does. Now, maybe not for somebody else, but for me, it's I love real estate. I love what I do. I love it so much. This is something that I would do for less, not much less, but I would do for less just because I love what I do. And some agents have a hard time even just dragging themselves into the office. What would you say to them? Then they should move on to something that they love. Mm. Simple as that, Jerry. How do you do the mastering? I, I know that's a big thing for you. Tell, give me some specifics. Well, you know, I believe they have to master your trade. Okay, you can love it all you want, but unless you master it, you will not get far in, in your career. So I still today, 30 minutes a day, five days a week, master my contracts, my scripts, I study them, I analyze them, I visualize them. I'm, I wanna make sure that when I'm with a client, I am at the best that I can be. So you still use scripts and canned presentations? Absolutely, I, I still do scripts, I still videotape myself, I still put myself in front of the mirror. I wanna make sure that when the client wants to pay me only 5% instead of six, I know how to convince them. I wanna make sure that when they wanna list their house for only one month instead of three months, I know how to talk them into that. And when a client wants to overprice a property in today's market, I can convince them into why is it more beneficial for him or her to price it at today's market. And take me to execution. Well, you know, at the end of the day, you can love your, 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 what you do and you can master your trade, but if you don't get up at 5.30 in the morning and, and do what you, you have to do and go out there and simply do the work, all the first two are for not. So at the end of the day, you gotta love what you do, you gotta master your trade, and you just gotta execute your work. How do you hold yourself accountable? How often do you do, you do an accounting of your success? Every week, I have, I have uh, an accountability of myself. I have to produce an amount of, of units every single week, uh, and it's the only way that I can make sure I help my, myself accountable. LME, spoken like a true top champion. You've heard it here on ESN from JJ Lopez. Bueno, familia, it's that time on ESN for El Tip de la Despedida. Here's a question. Have you counted the stats on your videos, on the videos that you made? You need to keep the track of the views weekly. To maximize your views, make sure that you're marketing those links to your entire sphere of influence. You can also use any kind of drip campaign platform, similar to, for example, Constant Contact or others. And when you do send out that campaign, make sure that it's fun, make sure that it's interesting. Send out on topics that affect them, such as short sale updates, homes sold in the neighborhood, marketing, market trends, things that are interesting to them. But you can also turn it around and make it something personal, something inspirational. It doesn't always have to be about business or about requesting a referral. Make it a personal touch, make it from you. Well, that's it for today, and I hope that you've enjoyed this week's Monday Morning Jolt con ESN. Yo soy su servidor, Gerardo Jerry Asensio. Que Dios me los bendiga. And make sure that you send us your input for the boardroom and Hablando Business. Y ahora, como siempre, yo soy, I am, Carmen Palumbo. Y los dejo con la canción de la semana. Armando Pérez, a fun song for your Monday, Echa Pa' Ya. So, so what does love have to do with it? Well, whatever, whatever. <laughs> that, that was a song, right? What does love have to do with it?